Hi guys, um, today I'm, I'm taking a video of um, a Wikipedia page and um, it's kind of a, a demo right now and so, um, okay, so here it goes. Um, Boris Tomaszewski um, was the father of Michael Tilson Thomas, the um, San Francisco uh, Symphony uh, music director and he was a Ukrainian born uh, Jewish singer and actor who became one of the biggest stars in Yiddish theater and so uh, Tomaszewski was born in the Russian Empire um, in Ukraine though and he's not actually from Russia and he trained as a um, uh, choir singer and uh, that's what Wikipedia says and I'm, I'm re I'm reading this, but let's see. Um, he he moved to New York City in about 1881, and he worked in the Yiddish Theater District in New York City. And this is the the credit of being the pioneer of Borscht Belt Entertainment. This is a uh, Boris Tomaszewski. He he left Russia, which is known as the Soviet Union, the USSR, the Imperial Russia. Um, and he he left Russia for New York City in the Lower East Side. And he um, he it says he managed to convince a local tavern owner to invest in bringing over some performers. The first performance was um, an operetta called The Witch. Um, and it, it was um, about uh, prosperous uptown German Jews opposed to Yiddish theater. And it was about a sabotage of uh, Yiddish theater. And um, um, Tomaszewski took Yiddish theater on the road. He took them on tours of all these places on the East Coast called Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Boston, Chicago, in only the 1880s, and this is all history, as says Wikipedia. And so we got some names. Um, he had some actors. He 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 got uh, David Kessler and Jacob Adler and um, um, a playwright named Moses Halevi Horowitz. That's right. And he even went to Baltimore, and he met a young lady named Bessie Kaufman. Okay, well, um, this is like the start of theater, Yiddish theater, and Yiddish theater is really the start of things that got on TV, like Seinfeld and Friends, and that's all Yiddish theater. That is Yiddish theater on TV, and that is um, now history because we don't watch TV, and we got Netflix and Hulu, and we don't watch TV like that, and we watch YouTube, and so, mm, well, here's just a primer and demo on um Boris Tomaszewski, and he, he also liked um, Yiddish versions of Uncle Tom's Cabin and Faust, and um, he, he, uh, he got rich. Yeah, Boris Tomaszewski got rich. He owned a 12-room home on Bedford Avenue in Brooklyn. He had a bungalow. He had 20 acres in Hunter, New York. He got very rich and became rich, and... Um, he also filed for bankruptcy after maybe spending too much of his money on some things like property. And um, he he had a wife named Bessie Tomaszewski and three sons. And um, let's see, one of his sons was Theodore. And then his son, grandson of Tomaszewski, the, the third son of Theodore Tomaszewski is conductor Michael Tilson Thomas, who is not as funny as any of these Yiddish theater actors. Michael Tilson Thomas is a conductor for a boring symphony, but this is his family, and I just wanted to bring this some into light to make things clear about why some things are the way they are today, and my explanation is that lots of things came out of Russia and Russian people created theater and Russian people created Yiddish theater and in, in the United States and New York City and the East Coast and then and then rich people moved to the West Coast too and you have Yiddish people on the West Coast but they don't call them Yiddish they just you know act like little bitches and brats and they 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 don't tell you they eat sausage at home they stuffed our face with a brat worst because that's what they are, a brat. And so that's my story today about uh, Wikipedia's listing on Boris Tomaszewski. Okay, have a nice day.